Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about this thing here. This is one of the latest products from SpeedyB. This is the ELRS 2G4 receiver that ships with the 3.31 version of the firmware. Now I'm a fan of SpeedyB. I don't think that's any secret. I really like their stuff. I love their F405 wing boards. I've used the big one, also a big fan of the mini version that's out there as well those are very aggressively priced and i did that build over christmas where i used pretty much the whole speedy b set of stuff with the exception of the motors and the express lrs receiver i guess if i was building that now i could have used a speedy b express lrs receiver as this is their first foray into express lrs hardware now, SpeedyB have, over the past year, gone from a maker of little gadgets to a pretty much a one-stop shop for well-specced value-for-money stuff for the hobby. And I guess they started making Express LRS hardware so they can be that one-stop shop because they make the motors, the frames, the flight controllers, and with their sister company, Runcam, you can buy pretty much everything you need from those two companies to build a multi-rotor and actually put together an INAV wing or plane too. And I suspect that this is going to be the first of many Express LRS hardware options from them. So I'm interested to see what comes next. Now this is a pretty basic single antenna Express LRS receiver. So it's called the SpeedyB Nano 2.4 gig RX, supported already in Express LRS. Frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. It has a single T antenna that's 54 by 78 millimeters. The chip on it is an SX1280 with an ESP8285. Power on this thing is 100 milliwatts, runs on 5 volts. The antenna connects with an IPEX1 style connector and the weight is 0.7 gram without the antenna. With the antenna, it's about 1.5 gram. Dimensions is 10.4 by 18.4 millimeter and it ships with a default firmware, the SpeedyB Nano 2.4 gig RX 3.31. Now I sold it on the wires snapped on the antenna and then put the supplied heat shrink around the top and ran it for my bench power supply when it started excitingly it immediately went into bind mode that's a nice feature and a nice way to have it set up so it's going to make it super easy and that also means that we have to wait for the default 60 seconds for the timeout to happen and then the leds flash continuously letting me know the wi-fi access point has been created now with that created, what we can do is go into the Wi-Fi networks, find the Express LRS receiver and connect. If it asks for a password, it's Express LRS, all lowercase without spaces. Once it's connected, it'll fire up the browser and we can have a quick look at what the default settings are on this thing. And looking here, there are a lot of surprises. There's no binding phrase supplied, but we can see it is 3.31 and it is the SpeedyB Nano 2.4 gig RX. I hope this means that SpeedyB are actively working with the project. No binding phrase, auto one interval. This is all very default stuff. This is really nice to see. Lock on first connection is enabled. Wi-Fi is set for the defaults. Model. Uh, allows us to choose the different protocols by default it's set for crsf but we have inverted sbus sumd and dji rs ability to turn model match on i'm going to do that for this demo and the other pieces too and then we've got the update at the end so we can flash it so pretty standard stuff now i personally am very excited to see another vendor with the quality of speed be starting to make express lrs hardware this is just good news for us as pilots the more competition there is means that we will have better products and get better value for money and as i said at the top i firmly suspect although i haven't been told this that this will be the first of many express lrs products from speedy b who knows maybe they'll start making modules and more sophisticated receivers with diversity gemini temperature controlled oscillators in lots of different places and all the cool stuff that lots of the other vendors are currently doing but i just wanted to make a quick video and show you this this was a bit of a surprise to me to see that speedy b had wandered into the express lrs hardware side i'm excited to see what comes next and i'll be keeping an eye on the speedy b website Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.